Today, we will be creating this type of abstract wavy lines using Affinity Designer. So let's get started. Open Affinity Designer and create a new file. Select the pen tool and click on the canvas to create a point. Then hold the shift key and move the mouse to the right in a straight line. Click again on the canvas to create a straight line. Then press the escape key to close the path. Now select the move tool and align the line to the center in the horizontal direction. With the line selected, press the enter key on your keyboard to open the power duplicate tab. In the vertical field, enter 10 and create 49 duplicates. Click OK to apply changes. Now, select all these lines and group them using the shortcut Ctrl plus G. Duplicate this group and rotate the duplicate group by 90 degrees. Now in the Layers panel, select both groups, then right-click with the mouse and choose Ungroup to ungroup both groups. While all the lines are selected, choose the Shape Builder tool. In the Context toolbar, under the Action section, click on the minus icon. Using this, we will delete the excess line segments that are outside of the grid. Using the mouse, drag over these excess line segments to delete them. After deleting, switch to the Move tool. While all these lines are still selected, go to Layer Geometry and click on Merge Curves to make it a single layer. I will rename this layer to Grid. Next, I will increase the stroke thickness of these lines and check Scale with Object. Now, rotate the grid to 45 degrees. While the grid is selected, click on the Warp Group icon in the Layers panel. And from the menu, select Perspective. Select the bottom two nodes and move them upwards and to the left and right to get a nice perspective view of the grid. After adjusting the nodes, switch to the Move tool and convert this perspective grid to curves. You can do this by right-clicking and selecting the Convert to Curves option or clicking this Convert to Curves option from the Context toolbar or the Layers menu. You can see the Warp group converted to a normal group layer in the Layers panel. As there is only one layer inside the group, I will ungroup it. Now, I will make the grid a little bit larger. Next, while the grid layer is selected, click on the Warp group and this time select Mesh. You will get blue colored grid lines with intersecting node points. Using these node points, we will create the wavy effect on this grid. We will need more node points, so left click using the mouse when the pointer is above a blue line to create more node points. I will create a bunch of them. Now, carefully drag a node upward to create a bump or peak, and drag it downward to create a dip. You can also use the four node handles to stretch and bend them in any direction. But for our effect, we just need some bumps and dips. After adjusting the node points, assign a color or gradient to the grid. Finally, add a nice background to complete our wavy lines effect using Affinity Designer. And that's it! If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more design tips and tricks. See you in the next video.